Well, of course, winning seems to be everything, particularly when you're in a competition. And Harness Racing's winningest driver this season, none other than Dave Pallone. He joins me now. And uh, Dave, you've been a real workhorse, I guess, this year, and you're uh, jutting out ahead of him in the dash race. Is that a crown you hope to wear at the end of the season? Well, it would be nice. You know, I, early in the year was a little bit of a slow start, and I didn't think I'd uh, defend. But uh, everything got on a roll pretty much the last few months, and uh, we're going to hope to keep riding it. All right, you were just in competition here in the first division of the Jugget, and unfortunately the horse did not make the elimination, but uh, what about that performance by Eternal Cam Nation? She was very good. Uh, I'm second-guessing myself a little bit the way I raced my filly, but uh, obviously we're disappointed. I guess she had a chance to make the final, but uh, hindsight, maybe we'd have raced her a little aggressive early, but I don't know if there's any beating Eric's filly the way she was. Isn't that the truth? Well, now we have another division getting ready to go, and if you would just maybe give the fans a little look at that field and anything that you could add about the horses you know in this group. Well, Arts Virtue has just done everything asked of her this year. Uh, she had a little bad luck over freehold leaving, I guess, the other day, but, uh, you know, John seems to rise the occasion on Jughead and Jug Day, and uh, I'm sure he won't disappoint. Well, we will just talk about last year's Jughead then, because you were the one rising to occasion as you were the winning driver behind Maudlin Hanover. And what a difference a year makes. What about the conditions for today's race as compared to those? Well, you know, I think the track was a little slower, and uh, you know, my filly, everything just worked out that day. She really didn't have any gate speed, and it set up real speedy for her, and she just kind of fell into the right trip, and uh, the rest is history. It was a fun day. Well, history isn't over for this year, and you're going to be in action in the third division behind Hot and Humid, a Dan Altmaier conditioned filly. Tell me about her, Dave. She's a very nice filly. She's really only gone one bad race, and that, unfortunately, was her last start. We really don't have any excuse for her, and we're hoping for a lot better today. Obviously, she's going to have to be at her best. Well, if it was a head scratcher, is that something you just have to put out of your head and go on? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to race her the way I always have. And, you know, she, she get, usually gives you her best effort. And uh, the race does look like it might set up for something from off the back end. And we're hoping to get lucky. Well, of course, you handle horses of all kinds, whether they're geldings or stallions or young colts, babies, fillies. Is there a special knack for getting along with the girls? I don't know, Trish. I've had some good luck and bad luck with girls in my life. But uh, I guess, uh, you know, I just think you have to be a little more patient with the fillies. And the boys, uh, you can rough them up a little. I perhaps set you up for that one, Dave. I don't know. It sure sounded that way. But anyway, I know that you get along very well with most all of them that you handle. And driving, is it still such a passion for you? It really is. You know, I, I have trouble getting through these winters anymore. When my buddies are calling me from Florida, they're hitting golf balls. So uh, maybe I need, just need a little bit of change of pace on maybe those winter months. But uh, no, it's it's either this or pump gas, you know. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to stick with it. I remember Uwe Fillion said something to me that, uh, well, he thought he was pretty much a bit of an Iron Man because he drove something like 16 horses because he'd go to two tracks or whatever. What kind of a pace do you have to keep up to, to stay ahead in this dash race? Well, I've been a lot more fortunate than Hervey that I don't have to two a day it or uh, anything like that. And, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. We race 15 races a night. You have to go prepared because those trainers expect you to give their horse the 10 minutes that, uh, that they want. They put seven days a week of work into them, and you have to concentrate. And I think that's the main thing. You have to go in there focused and concentrate just like any other sport. All right, and nobody does it better than Dave. He can stay focused. I know that. Even admits these kind of conversations. Congratulations once again on uh, being ahead of the pack at this point in time, and good luck. Thank you, Trish. Let's go back over to the infield. Dave Pallone.